biggest benefit of any cable exercise, no matter what it is, is the constant tension. That's why we're doing it. Time under tension. So going back to what I was talking to about earlier, where you want everything tight, the great thing about doing anything with cables is if you're doing it right, like in this case we're doing lateral raises, I can have it so that my muscle is getting a constant even tension through the whole range of motion, right? So one of the big mistakes that people make is they'll stand too close or they'll stand too far away from the machine, which will make it so that when you're going through the movement, there's a point where the tension goes off of the muscle, right? So when we're doing these lateral raises, you're gonna notice I'll be adjusting my feet to try to get myself into that perfect position so that I'm feeling that constant tension on my shoulder as I'm going through it. With the cables, you wanna go nice and slow, even. We're not yanking it, because we're on a pulley here, so it's gonna screw up that time under tension that we're trying to create. Okay? So it's the same movement like you'd be doing with a dumbbell, right? Keeping your elbow above your wrist. Greatest thing about doing these exercises like isometric, where you're doing one arm at a one, one hand or one arm at once, is everybody is naturally dominant on one side, or you may be in a situation where you're stronger on one side than the other. But when you're doing these type of single hand or single arm or single leg movements, you always want to start with the weaker arm. And then when you go over to do your stronger arm, don't do more reps than you did with your weaker arm. And that's how you can bring that strength to even. <laughs>